souls it's Tan here today with another North Note um, in the houses series and today we're gonna be looking at North Note in the ninth house so I have made an introduction video to the North Node um, and what that is and I'll leave a link to that up there in the description box below so you can check that out if you're not familiar with it and you can come back and watch this video so if you have a North Node in the ninth house you are going to automatically have a South Node in the third house when we're not moving into our north node and we're kind of stuck in the south node, we can experience a certain discontentment with life and like our soul slowly begins to decay. But if we move too much into the north node and we completely disregard our south node, we are going to be a little bit obsessed and this can create a bit of a fanaticism with regards to that house. But if we can balance these two, meaning that we move towards our North Node, but we don't forget the skills and the talents that we have with regards to our South Node, we're going to find that life has new meaning and that we're exploring possibilities we never even knew existed before. So with a North Node in the ninth house and a South Node in the third house, the fragmentation of the soul lies in your overuse of the logical mind needing together all the facts and data, thinking that maybe this will ease the decision-making processes in your life. The soul falls easily into a pattern of focusing on the words and its nitty-gritty details of the right way to communicate. Rather than the idea, communicating something and then kind of going over it in your head about whether people actually understand you or not whether it will be criticized or not, whether people will like it or not, that kind of a thing. This is what may cause you to sometimes spend the truth um, to please people and that that will cause you to have more superficial communications and conversations with people. You tend to kind of know the most cliche things to say and you tend to say it even though that may not be what you mean or it may not be what you care about. Yet, as you become more adept at the art of small talk, your soul slowly begins to decay and you feel discontentment. Because you are here in this life to integrate your soul through a process of becoming more involved in expanding your knowledge into the ever-challenging world of philosophy, life experience, and belief systems so that you can deepen your conversations with people and deepen what you know. The ninth house is the house of wisdom of experience and the higher mind, and the third house is the house of your immediate environment and the lower mind. It would be a good idea with a north node in the ninth house to sort of come out from the, the habit of enmeshment in the problems and in the opinions and way of life of the people from your local community and of the place where you grew up or where you came from. It would be a good idea to take yourself away from your natural loop of draining yourself thinking about what you should do because then you end up doing nothing when you're involved in this mental loop of overthinking. When someone comes asking you for advice, and they like to do that, or when you're trying to solve your own problems, you must take yourself out of the mind, which can be useful sometimes, but not in decision making if you have a north node ninth house, if you have a ninth house north node. There are hundreds and thousands of opinions that people may have about you, but thinking about these different possibilities will not get you to the truth. Opinions can be useful, but they are not the truth. So when you first get in touch with your North Node, and this can happen at any time in your life, depending on who you meet in life and what else is going on in your chart and whether that's supporting your North Node evolutionary growth or pulling you back away from that. But when you first get in touch with the North Node, a lot of the times it can lead to a feeling of obsession, a bit of a fanaticism. And with the North Node in the ninth house, this can mean blindly following a religion or a belief system without using your intuition. Sometimes this placement can make for a fanatic of some sort. 
kind of single-minded in their goals and their beliefs and what they they deem is the truth. But you know what? The best way to really discover what you really believe in is to broaden your horizons. And this is a fun process. Life for you has to become a journey and an infinite classroom of possibilities. Traveling, living abroad, learning two or three or four different languages. Having a deep personal relationship with a foreigner. Study philosophy and religion, do yoga, become a spiritual teacher, teach something. After you put yourself out there into the world of experience and possibilities, you can begin to solidify what it is that you believe is your truth. You are learning to turn that wisdom that you have gained from life experience into more enriching conversations. Um, and topics of discussions. The next time someone asks you for advice, you will know what is the underlying fundamental principle for the perspective that you have that you're going to give your advice from. And that means that you may not even have to talk for hours and go around in entertaining circles in order to explain something to someone. A simple sentence might just do. The perspective and wisdom you have inserted into that sentence may just make people's eyes widen and for them to gain a whole new perspective on whatever it is issues they have. They feel inspired by your depth of understanding. You don't have to get enmeshed in others' dramas and love triangles anymore or be in a love triangle and in your own life because that stuff isn't really supported by your morals and your principles anymore. Once you have something to believe in, this placement makes it possible for you to stick to the pursuit of that passionately and tirelessly. But if there's nothing to believe in, you end up kind of switching your goals and objectives and pursuits over and over again and nothing happens and life seems meaningless. You become less superficially engaging just to be liked you become more detached, like a Himalayan guru. But you know, you may lose acquaintances and friends along the way when you do this, but the ones that really do stay are the ones that have a similar vision to you, the similar principles to you. And that is what matters with the North Node in the Ninth House. You are learning to not compromise your truth just to fit in, because guess what? You were born to stand out. So a couple of things that you can do to kind of get in touch with this North Node placement is to live abroad. Really, like live as far away as possible from the place that you were born in and you grew up in. You can also try to teach something um, while also continuing to be an eternal student of life. You can also try to publish something, publish your ideas through the media, through writing or public speaking as well because all these things are going to inspire you to inspire others. So the sign that your North Node falls into is going to show the traits and the qualities that you need to develop and adopt in order to seek your truth and spread that wisdom. So now I want to go through the North Node in the ninth house through each of the zodiac signs. So if you have an Aries North Node in the ninth house, you will have a Libra South Node in the third house. This indicates someone who is learning to be highly morally inclined. Really learning to stand up for what you believe in, even if you have to fight for it. This can point to someone who is an advocate and you may travel far and wide to promote and fight for what you believe in. If you have a Taurus North Node in the ninth house, you have a Scorpio South Node in the third house. This is about learning to take that deep, dark, twisted thoughts and investigations that you have done in your mind and through your mind and spreading or teaching that through a framework of philosophy or a belief system. This is also about breaking away from potential possible narrow-mindedness of your family and of your immediate environment or relatives and then forming your own beliefs rooted in common sense. Like meditation or yoga, it's simple but it's so powerful. 
if you have a Gemini North node in the ninth house, then you have a Sagittarius South node in the third house. And the axes are getting swapped here because the third house rules Gemini and the ninth house rules Sagittarius. But you have a Gemini North node in the ninth house. This is a great placement, though, for someone who can take the seemingly abstract and impossible to understand ideas and break that down easily into understandable, digestible chunks without losing the essence of its truth. Learning to study and maybe trying out or considering a variety of different religion or belief systems and then maybe teaching that. If you have a Cancer North Node in the ninth house, you will have a Capricorn South Node in the third house. So when you were younger, you might have grown up um, and taught to believe in what was traditional and what has been proven to be true based on previous generations. You are really here to learn to develop that intuition and that gut that when, tell, when something tells you that something is right or wrong, it probably is. Growth can maybe come when you find a place of belonging that is maybe in a foreign land or with foreign people. If you have a Leo North node in the ninth house, you will have a, an Aquarius South node in the third house. And this can make for someone who can become one of the best teachers out there. If not, then someone that's very popular in the public eye. When you teach or publish something, you instill trust in others because of the firm belief that you have in what you are doing or saying. You are learning to be proud of the wisdom that you have gained from your life experience and that will bleed into helping and inspiring others. If you have a Virgo North Node in the ninth house, you will have a Pisces South Node in the third house and I think Jean-Paul Sartre has this placement. You are here to really write and you can do so extensively and in precise details explaining your philosophies and your beliefs. And it sounds trustworthy most of the time because there's logic as well as practicality and a common sense. That's really hard to find in a lot of philosophical writings out there. Like the quote earlier, sometimes your skepticism is what points you into the di right direction of your truth. Sometimes you have to cut what is not true to get to what is true. If you have a Libra North node in the ninth house, you have an Airy South node in the third house. There is an emphasis here of really understanding laws, whichever way you want to interpret that. This is about finding meaning and believing in laws that offer justice to people, which ultimately offers balance in the world. If you have a Scorpio North Node in the ninth house, you will have a Taurus South Node in the third house. And this is a very interesting placement. This is a placement of aligning yourself to a belief system based on pain, suffering, and darkness, and transformation, eventually. There's a lot of wisdom here to be gained from the experience of pain. And through that, you can maybe release the pain and the sufferings of the world. But this is happening on a more worldly level, such as, you know, war, rape, or corruption. This is also a great place for becoming involved with magic. Because there's a gift here of being able to see things that hide behind the veils and the mysteries of life in the universe. For sure, this is the placement of someone learning to speak the truth that may come across as penetrative or shocking, but leaves an imprint in the minds of those you come across. If you have a Sagittarius North Node in the ninth house, you will have a Gemini South Node in the third house, and this is a very pure Sagittarian energy, because the ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius. So you're really learning to be a seeker who sets goals to explore, to discover things, um, and then spread that the wisdom of your journey to the world through your teaching or through publishing but you may need to step out from thinking that all the wisdom and the knowledge that you can have is coming from books or from your community. There's knowledge in that, but not wisdom, because wisdom is only, can only come from you and your own experience. You must have one or maybe two goals and pursue that with passion, not giving up and not changing around that goal or passion. If you have a Capricorn North Node in the ninth house, you're going to have a Cancer South Node in the third house. 
And this means that you're learning to, you're, you're here to take what you believe and material, materialize that into the 3D world as a part of your calling in life. You're also learning to adopt a more moral path, even if it may take longer or present itself with more obstacles. But your beliefs lie in the fact that hard work and integrity only will get you where you need to go. That's your moral compass. If you have an Aquarius North Node in the 9th house, you will have a Leo South Node in the 3rd house. So you're learning to be a little bit rebellious when it comes to how you're going to challenge existing belief systems and religion. You're learning to find and align yourself to belief system that treats everybody and humanity as an equal and has a sort of humanitarian principle behind it. So Uranus meets Jupiter with this placement and therefore you have a belief in progress and innovation even if it hasn't yet been proven and even if it doesn't make sense just yet. And last but not least, if you have a Pisces North Node in the 9th house, you will have a Virgo South Node in the 3rd house. So here we have Neptune meets Jupiter, the 12th house meets the 9th house. You're really coming out from that double Mercurial South Node, you know, 3rd house, Gemini, Virgo, 6th house, kind of a vibe, and into the realm of intuition and truth. You may not know why something is true, but you must not doubt your knowing and your intuition. You must not question it. You must not doubt it. Because you are learning ultimately faith. Sometimes this placement can make for the development of great intuitive or psychic abilities, depending on other things in your chart, how that's going to play out. Where, you know, you can feel something and with that you can make a link and interpret with wisdom the messages and the knowing, the knowledge hidden in that feeling, if that makes sense. And maybe it doesn't, but your intuition will tell you. Don't doubt it. Okay guys, so that is my interpretation of North Node in the ninth house through each of the zodiac signs. If you have this placement, do comment below what zodiac sign your North Node in the ninth house is in and what your experience has been with that. Share that with the rest of us. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much for coming along um, and on these astrology journeys. I do birth chart readings, sinistry relationship readings, all the information is on my website. You can check that out. And yes, um, that's it for today. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!